Hey everyone, so it's 2018 and um, I know I talked about in my previous podcast that I talked about a lot of depressing stuff like Sheila Stiles and August Ames both died in 2017. So um, we're also going to put a link in the description um, so if anyone is feeling sad or whatever, just know don't give up. Call the National Suicide Prevention Hotline. Go to a hospital. Do whatever you have to do to make sure that you'll be okay. Um, 2018 should be a better year for most people. I know 2018 will be for me because I'm dating a girl right now. I'm plenty of fish. And uh, she's really gorgeous. And I'm excited to be dating her. We talk all the time on the phone. We've, you know, Skyped each other a couple times because we've both been sick. So... You know, I'm really excited to be dating her, and she's really pretty, because that other girl I dated, let's just say she was a little nuts. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I wasn't, I, I should have not uh, dated her in the first place, it was my mistake. But, you know, when you get lonely and you've never really dated before, you're kind of stuck or whatever. Um, but yeah, let's make 2018 more memorable. Um just taking down Christmas right now and clipping my nails. And uh, what else was I going to talk about? Oh, yeah. So it's weird walking around on January 1st. There's like no one out there. It was really weird. I was walking around amongst the living. LOL. <laughs> I like how I just said that, even though I should have just laughed and not said LOL. That's pretty stupid. But um, anyway, yeah, I was walking around around town and I just couldn't believe how dead it was on January 1st it was really weird it was like everyone was drunk from the night before partying and everything so uh it's just weird to see how you know everyone's lively everyone's having fun and you know and now everyone's kind of like done and and they're not doing anything anymore but it's just crazy, you know, that like we're all used to like partying and having fun and good time. And it's just, it's amazing how this is the year that everything's done over with now. Like everything's gone. 2018 is here and, you know, I'm hoping 2018 will be a good year. They have the uh, Pasadena Rose Parade and it was beautiful and huge. It's been going on for over a hundred and like 30 something years and you know in Pasadena so I was filming that and uh you know I was live there and uh it was a lot of fun I mean it was kind of cool it was, it was chaos there were so many people I can't believe that many people go to a parade for fucking <laughs> I just I'm like, Jesus Christ, do you people not have lives? Like, what the fuck? Like, but I did it because, it, you know, it's fun to do with your job. You know, you get to, you know, go around and do reports of things you like. And, you know, you get paid to talk about things that are fascinating. And plus, you know, I like doing historic. It's a historic pastime. I mean, we've been doing it in Pasadena since, you know, 1914 or whatever. So it's kind of a big deal. So... I'm going to move this blanket. Okay. Man, this is just crazy. All this work and everything. Um, oh, yeah, and I want to mention something, too. This one guy said, oh, you're insignificant podcast on YouTube. Dude, you did a stupid video making fun of Jimmy Kimmel crying, and you have the most dislikes on any other video. You can go fuck yourself. <laughs> I just find that funny how that asshole said that to me. And it's like... Yeah, okay, dude. All right. You go fuck yourself. My YouTube channel's doing a lot better than yours. Uh, it's like, yeah, you might have more views, but who's gaining more popularity by the days? Me, buddy. Me. Suck my nuts. And so, you know. Ooh. Here's, uh... I forgot I had my other... Yeah, I'll bring that out. It's a tiny blanket. Here, I'll put this in there. I'm just trying to move everything because it's like, you know, I'm trying to get rid of Christmas and, you know, stuff like that. Also, I want to talk about TV shows. Um, 2017 was a good year for TV, I think. Um, you know, that's one of the reasons why I did this 
podcast, I wanted to do some highlights of, of 2017. Um, Stranger Things was probably one of the best shows ever done. Um, so Stranger Things was out. Um, a lot of good shows were out. And, uh, you know, I, I think I think 2018 is going to be a good year for TV, too, because uh, Comedians in Cars is coming back on um, on Netflix. So... They used to be on Crackle, so they're going to have a lot more, um, I think, a lot more funnier stuff, and I think they're going to have a lot more uh, things to do, so I'm excited to watch Comedians in Cars. Um, around Christmas Eve, they had Dave Chappelle's stand-up special. A lot of uh, transgenders are getting upset about... Uh, about his stand-up special, I'm like, dude, the guy's a comedian, his whole job is to make you laugh, like, people are so uptight, like, dude, it's like, let it go, you know, it's like, I don't understand why people are getting so upset, it's like, they get so mad at, at his transgender comments, and it's like, this is the second time I've seen transgenders get upset about it, it's like, look, I, I tried to date a transgender once, I tried to date a, a transgender from the Philippines. So, you know, for people to say, oh, this guy hates transgenders or this guy's horrible or it's like, dude, he has no hatred to, in his heart of anyone. It's that's what comedy is. It's a lot like this podcast. You know, you're just saying what everyone else is thinking. You know, you're not a politician. You don't need to be um, um, politically correct all the time. It's It's getting fucking annoying. It's like, you know, who cares, you know, it's like, nobody really cares anymore that you're, that you're, uh, trans, nobody really gives a fuck, you know, nobody really does, so, it just gets kind of annoying, actually, so, um, I, I honestly don't believe that people really care that you're trans, I, I don't think people really care like they used to, I mean, I mean, you don't hear about stuff like Emirate Till, you know, so I get really, you know, fucking annoyed by it because it's like, you know, you had a you had a kid named Emmerich Till in Mississippi who got brutally killed for being black, basically, and they lynched him from his home and murdered him. They beat the hell out of him. You should see those pictures by Jet Magazine. They're horrific. They're disturbing. I can't even look at it without getting angry. This innocent 14 year old boy and then this stupid white devil woman made up all this excuse and said you know and finally come out years later but because of double double jeopardy you can't really do anything about it that's how fucked up our stuff is but now obama made it where you know anything from before 1980s you can actually open cases again and yeah sure enough you find out that the person, you know, did those horrific things, and it's just, ah, uh, it's just sad to hear stuff like that. You know, these innocent people getting <coughs> killed for being black or for being whoever they are, and it's just, it's upsetting. So when I hear transgenders getting mad over what Dave Chappelle says, it's just stupid to me. You know, I, I never understood it. It's like, yeah, okay, I get it. Like, you know, he can piss people off, but it's like, he's a comedian. His whole job is to make you laugh. His whole job is to, you know, I just, I get annoyed with, with these transgender people getting mad at Dave Chappelle. It's like, the guy's hilarious. I've always been a fan of Dave Chappelle. And the thing is, all your comedians are the most liberal, most lenient people on the planet. I mean, if, if, if a transsexual came up to Dave Chappelle he wouldn't give a fuck. All he said was it's because it's a white transsexual. If it was a black transsexual, no one would give a fuck. And he's making a point like, and he's right. I mean, just because it's a celebrity and because, you know, Caitlyn Jenner, you know, I mean, he made a really good point. He's right. I mean, he's absolutely right about that. So you know, and also, like, a lot of people kept saying that she's a hero because she came out and said, you know, of what she did. And he, and he goes, uh, no, that's not a hero. He goes, 
what she did was bravery, and I applaud her for her courage to come out and say that she's trans and, and it takes a lot of courage and it makes you brave for that. But he said to come out and say that you're a hero because of it is ridiculous. And that's that's all that uh, Dave Chappelle was instating, that it is ridiculous. I mean, we're, we're catering to this person who's fame, you know, one of the best, you know, runners ever and Caitlyn Jenner is like an amazing athlete and everything and it's like look I I applaud Caitlyn Jenner for coming out saying that she's trans whatever but it's like I'm getting annoyed by her because I feel like she's a fraud you know she talks about how she respects transgender people and then she starts like you know endorsing Donald Trump and you know and then she gets all mad because he starts talking shit about the military and it's kind of like well, Caitlin, we kind of warned you. <laughs> we kind of told you, girl. We kind of told you. So. But yeah, Caitlin looks a lot sexier than, uh, than she, <laughs> she actually looked better as a woman than a guy, to be honest with you. I've always thought, you know, I mean, I wouldn't mind seeing Caitlin in Playboy. That'd be kind of, kind of hot. I know a lot of people got mad because now Playboy had the first transgender and uh, and then Blair White made some really stupid, idiotic comments, and of course, because, you know, if she can't be self-incriminating, um, transgender to bash her own people, it's Blair to do that. And uh, as it turns out, she does. <laughs> and it's like, you know, it's like, I, I think she's jealous because she wasn't the first person that they asked. To be in a in a Playboy centerfold, so they get this uh, French model who's gorgeous. You can't even tell that she's trans, and um, you know. And now she's into uh, is the first transgender playmate, and then everyone's like, "Man, Hugh must be rolling in his glory," and it's like. The dude probably was slept with every girl there. <laughs> like, what makes you think that it's progressive? You know? It's like... Playboy's a joke. Like, nobody's making money in Playboy anymore. You know? It's like, yeah, you have Holly Randall taking all these pictures of Playmates and everything. But it's like, how long can Playboy last? Like, nobody's paying for porn anymore. Nobody's paying for that. That's why I don't know how porn companies stay afloat, you know? And everyone goes, oh, pay for porn. I'm like, how about pay royalties? You know what I mean? That's the thing I don't get about pornography. It's like, if they say it's a billion dollar industry, why don't you fuckers actually pay royalties? Why is it that... You know, if I go to a movie theater and I watch a movie of Leonardo DiCaprio, he gets royalties for every time that's played at a movie theater. Or every time he's on TV, he gets royalties. I know. I know people who are B, C-list actors, and they get paid. Look at Kristen Adams. Because she was in that move, that independent movie, every time that showed, she gets, um, you know, royalties. And then when they show Dirty Sexy Money... And that reporter part of when Kristen played a reporter, um, Kristen Adams, she gets a royalty check for that because she was in that, you know? Look at Mark Thompson. That guy was on Channel 11, and he was in The Cable Guy. He was in all these movies as a news reporter, and he gets royalties for that. I think he might have been in 24, too. I'm not sure, but Mark Thompson's been in a couple things. And, you know, and I, I saw him on the Young Turks not too long ago. And that guy definitely, you know, gets royalties. So that's what I'm saying. Like, you know, if, if the porn industry would just fucking pay their actors an actual wage, you know, maybe people would, you know, reconsider it. But porn doesn't make any money. That's why it's a joke of an industry. That's why people shouldn't even get into porno. Because then you have to, like, basically bang your way to the top, you know? And that's the thing. Like, you basically have to, like, fuck every person that you meet and collect all these STDs on the way. And then it's like, yeah, you get paid, you know, a couple hundred bucks 
of whatever scene, but then you only get paid by the scene. You don't get royalties. The only thing you ever really make money on is if you have like your own sex toy or if you have like your name on condoms or something. You know, so I don't know. I, I think the whole thing is a joke. I, I really do. I think the whole thing's a joke. So anyway, that's your highlight for uh, 2017 and uh, hopefully 2018 is a better year. I'm going to continue to clean this room and party it up. Bitches! Yeah, motherfucker!